hello guys welcome back to my channel Archi Nomad and today's tutorial you're going to learn how to use a line based family basically a line based family is very useful and very helpful when you want to create a similar task with some spacing or kind of and you can say an array kind of an object you want to create multiple objects in that suppose you have a seating area which is like a multiple seats for especially for stadiums like that so you can just simply drag in one line and can create the multiple objects within a few seconds so let's create that family so you have to go here in the family go to the new and find generic model line based family must be somewhere here on the left side this one generic model line based open this one and here you already see again that this one the length is already parameters given and it's actually go so if i go here it's 4000 millimeters it is yeah it's changing the space so basically this is already assigned with parameter from this uh, this is the main reference line this is another reference so it's connected so this is our line which is going to be work in our project so what I want is actually I want to load one of the object by default it's in Revit and I will uh, replicate that object by using one of the formula as well and also we are going to give a spacing so it will uh, create the same object with the respect to the spacing as well and we can create multiple objects through by just dragging one line in our project. So let's load one object go to the insert and load family. Let's go back and find furniture. I want to add some seating here like this. Uh, maybe this one. This one will work. So let's open this one. So now if it's not popping up like this, it's not showing up. So you can go to the create and go here in the component and you'll find. So just press space bar so it will change its rotation. And you can basically place, let me place it here. Okay. So what I do is actually I will first uh, align this one to this reference plane. So I'll go here and I align to this and I lock this one. Uh, so I always mention that you should always uh, lock your families when you wanted to create it. So lock this one like this. So now what I do is actually I will create an array from this point to this end point. So I'll just select this one and go to this option called array and just uh, select this point to this point and make it like a 6 or something no problem. now just uh, hit couple of uh, like escape a couple of times al and select this end of this one and select like this and lock it so now it's going to be inside of it now if i change this one let's suppose if i have 5000 it's going to change it but we have an issue we want that this should be the the spacing should be the same in and also the, it increase the number of this uh, seeds so so what we're going to do is actually first we are going to create a parameter for this array so let's just drag this outside uh, let's select this one and just drag it outside like this so select and select this one so if you select this array line it's showing it here the guideline which is how many of arrays we created so this is six so just go here and in this label box and drag down add parameter so i will give this one to number and make it its instance parameter because we need to use it for it. So just okay. Now, what we can do, we're going to add one more parameter here, just like this one, and give it spacing. Make sure to check the spelling because uh, it is, uh, you know, you need to you need to use in the formula in the case sensitive. So that's why I make it its instance parameter like this, and then okay. And then what you do is actually you have to go here and give some spacing like maybe 80 for now just or maybe that's 150 for now we can change it later as well so then click outside here and let's add one formula so for this one i will add one formula so you can follow the same so round up let's uh, give a bracket inside of the bracket i will add length divided by spacing and I want to add one of the on the, uh, on the inside so I'll press add on the outside one so I'll create something like this so it's not working let's create 35 so we can give the space like 200 or something or maybe 400 that's fine it's changing it now it's working so if I click this here it's an effect immediately so as you can see that the like, sheets are clashing to each other so we can adjust this one like 600 or something so it will get a proper spacing like this one so now it's working. 
that's pretty much good. So let's open one of the project. If I go here in the project architecture, and now I'll load this family to this project. Uh, make sure you always save your family when you're creating because it will be very helpful to you. So yeah, let's load in the project. And now, if I go here, and uh, this is this should be selected, place on bot plane, and just simply drag, and it will create like this. So as you can see, that this is quite fast and easy way. If I go in 3D and check, like this. So you can also break it from here if I want to select this one I can go to this one and I can split this uh, half of it so it will be fully parametric you can change from here it will work perfectly okay so this is much for this video if you have any questions you can comment me on and also you can join my course which is actually I'm um, teaching live so go to my website uh, bimskill.com you can uh, check out my description I added the link so definitely if you want to learn the BIM process about the rabbit especially I'm teaching and giving education live so yeah thank you so much for watching and hit like and subscribe to my channel and yeah see you in the next video